diagnosed with uh, lymphoma in August 2011, and it was T-cell non-lymphoblastic lymphoma. I had radiation for about six months and chemo for a two-year period, and I've been in re remission for a year, and I was in remission in August, and if it hadn't been for people there to support us and family, then um, I just don't know like if it would have turned out the way it did, but we did have good people there for us, and people like the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society and the hospitals, and everybody was just great during our treatment. I'm Mariana. I'm two and a half years younger than Cheyenne is, and um, I was diagnosed with the same type of cancer about eight months after she was. Um, I had chemo for about two years. I've been in remission for about uh, seven months since February. So, um, and like she says, the support of organizations like this one is just really important during that time. Jen Roberts. Catherine Clark. Hannah Hartman. Catherine Evers. This is my third event. Why do, you come, why do you keep coming back? It's a good way to support the Lymphoma and Leukemia Society. It's a nice event, it's beautiful weather, great to get out, and we get the kids out to do a community service project. All right. My name's Ernie Wise, and I'm walking for my wife, Claudine Wise. And I'm Tammy Wells, his sister, and I'm walking for my sister-in-law, Claudine. And why do you guys believe such an event as Light the Night is important? I think it makes you aware of what's happening and what we need to do about cancer of all kinds and to help raise money to help others, you know, and, and to help find cures. Well, hi, my name is Casey Van Wagner. I'm a senior here at East Oak High School. I'm now with Pine. I'm also a senior this year at East Oak High School. Um, we're here with the Key Club, which is like a service organization that works to improve the community. And we've been doing this event for four years, all the years we've been at East Snow. And basically we're here tonight making bookmarks for kids and selling popcorn. Actually we're giving it away. Just kidding. Um, all donations we take we're donating to Light the Night. And my name is Abigail Stevens and I'm working with the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society organization. And I've got involved with this organization because my dad actually has leukemia. So I thought it would be a really good way to get involved in the community and also give back to uh, the society that has helped my father with his cancer bills. Hi, I'm Mark Cockroft. I'm a teacher at East Noble High School, and I'm on the steering committee for the Light the Night Walk. The Light the Night Walk is in its 13th year here that's hosted at East Noble High School, and it is a fundraiser for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, and it involves DeKalb, Steuben, LaGrange, and Noble, um, families, businesses, and anybody who uh, wants to raise funds for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society or who's have family members that have been um, inflicted with cancer or leukemia. Uh, about 20 years ago, one of our football coaches here at East Noble High School um, was diagnosed with leukemia and at that time I was the football coach and so what we did is as a school we raised funds to help uh, the Tom Wogeman family and then also to raise funds for leukemia and so we did that for six or seven years here at the East Noble High School and uh, then the Light the Night Walk was being sponsored um, on a national level by the LLS so uh, we've done that for the last 13 years. We've done about 20 years of fundraisers here for Northeast Indiana and the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society.